Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be game two between Bomb Bomb and Jojo, leaving the uh, production tab up as per user request in Twitch for this one. Bottom right hand corner, Jojo starting as the blue Zerg. This is. Is this on Vermeer? Should have checked that beforehand. Yes, looks like this is on Vermeer. Um, where do I start? Jojo, very creative player. Very fun player. Kind of like seeing what... Uh... After game one between these two... So this is going to be the third match between them in this grouping. Game one, we saw all in Zerglings. Game two, we saw some additional Zergling pressure moving into some odd mid-three game base play. Bonbon bon had some... Trouble controlling troops, but just seemed to out macro Jojo previous match. But what I really want to see is does Jojo have, some, is he just going to nine pool it again? Because right now, yeah, going to nine pool it again. Nine pooling and getting lucky potentially with this Overlord Scout. A lot riskier to pull off a nine pool. On a four-player map, sometimes it can play off though. Uh, pay off though because Protoss will try to sneak expansions. Chat being spicy in the background. We are seeing a Forge first build. Probe is going to end up in JoJo's base last. Oftentimes, Protoss players will send out double probe scouts to see if they can go for that earlier Nexus versus Zerg at the cost of a handful of minerals here and there. But I assume Bonbon, bon, particularly having faced all in Zergling play two games now versus Jojo, has, yeah, got the preventative cannon. I would honestly go for a second immediately. Second problem for Jojo, so he is planning a hatchery behind this, so he's not just going straight all in Zergling to start. But right now, he's got a drone scouting upper left hand corner, so he. He's not even... Yeah, it looks like he's just going to blockade his ramp with these Zerglings. And I feel like this actually might be more of a pressure play on Bonbon bon than even sending those Zerglings out. Just get... get Yeah. Take out that initial probe. Maybe play to position to go for a 973. One cannon. Gateway. This should be a sufficient defense. Let's see if another... Uh, one more probe pulling off the line. Should cover it. The drone actually coming back to maybe mix it up. Is this going to be proxy hatchery? So Zergling's taking some damage. Drone, where are you going? Looks like it was just a miss rally. Probe has managed to get inside JoJo's base. Yeah, and wise, wise block that. Block the gap against this guy. Nexus coming online. Not too undisturbed. Bonbon... Bon. This is going to be... Like, it's usually important. I feel like it's especially important versus Jojo. To keep this probe alive. To get an eye on what units you're up against. No gas is being grabbed. Probe is gone. Third base is up. I got to expect 973 as a follow-up. Cybernetic score warping in the main. Two bases up for Bonbon. Bon. And so, still no gas for Jojo. Okay, finally grabbing gas. For a second there, I'm like, is he still going to go for the three hatch? Zergling, just a little bit of delay on that third hatch. I have to presume that he's going to go for knowing Jojo's style. Three hatch, Hydralisk, play. Potentially with the 973. Currently, we've got 10 drones at the main. Equivalently fine. No, we're seeing four hatchery. Four hatchery before even gas mining for Jojo. Initial Dragoon being produced, maybe to take out this Overlord. Second gas at the natural. Second cannon preventatively being placed, which very, very wise. Stargate warping in. This, the Dragoon does slow down the Stargate, and additional tech briefly. 
kind of like this play. Probe has managed to wander out. Found that 6 o'clock location is empty, but should be able to wander up and confirm four hatcheries. So that's not going to hurt JoJo's economy too much. It does... I mean, it's one Overlord down, but it's not putting him in the red currently. Probe wandering. Going to find the fourth hatchery here. And actually, these Zerglings letting him walk all the way into the main to confirm that it is, in fact, going to be four hatch Hydralisk. Which means it needs to be a slew of cannons. So this isn't even... So how many probes we got? Earth probes. How many drones we got here? We got nine there. We got ten at the main. More filtering in. So this is... Not exactly 973, it's going to be, and it's obviously off four hatcheries rather than three. So it looks like this is going to be more of a sustained, consistent Hydralisk pressure in the mid-game. Beanie, thank you for the raid. Everybody follow Beanie if you have not already. Templar Archives morphing in the background. Zealots wandering out, clearing those initial Zerglings. And Probe has found... The additional hatchery here at the 5 o'clock location. Actual 5 o'clock now. And it looks like this is going to be a transition towards 5 hatch Hydralisks in the mid-game. Here I'm just presuming JoJo's going to go all in in the mid-game because of the previous matches. Dark Templar being produced. This actually plays very, very well against which Bonbon's fielding, which is kind of the double gas... Dark Templar style of play. Because it lets you have larger groupings of Hydralisks to defend against uh, all of these expansions and take out Corsair as well. Prevent them from taking your Overlords down. However, no Overlord yet at the 5 o'clock location. And it looks like, yeah, most of the Overlords are just going to be gathered at the National Expansion, the Corsair, getting plenty of scouting information. Some Hydralisks and Zerglings wandering mid-map without Overlord support. So Jojo looks like he's going to donate some units, potentially. Although the Dark Templar initially fixating. Nope, still going to get some bonus kills. Probe blockading. <laughs> Trying to allow additional damage. Plus one weapons on the way. And it looks like it is going to be five gateways to follow for Bonbon. Already has High Templar and Psystorm. In production. No Zelt timing attack. We do have an evolution shaper working on plus one weapons at the natural for Jojo. So Jojo going to try to show off macro chops. And actually in pretty good, pretty decent drone count here in the mid game. And I kind of like this build on Vermeer because there's, especially with the five hatch grouping of Hydralisks, you can defend a lot of territory with them a little bit easier. Bit of, a spore colony feels like it's a bit unnecessary here. But that is going to open up Hydralis to be more aggressive across the map. Jojo is going to be pinned because of that Dark Templar play until Overlord Speed is online. Upgrading Lurker Tech, it looks like. In the meantime, Bonbon bon being very diligent with the Corsair to get the additional scouting information. And I also like, upon seeing the five hatch Hydralis paused Corsair production. Range upgrading, six gateways up. No... Robotics facility as of yet, but plenty of High Templar with lots of Psy Storm. And look at the diligence here. Dark Templar, Zealot nearby, and the Corsair just scouting that left-hand column. Jojo moving forward with a large amount of Hydralisks and actually might be able to stymie a base that looks like it was just, I think Bonbon bon just hoping to hold this. Maybe one Psy Storm from this High Templar, but that's not going to be sufficient to defend this base, so... Getting some damage done on the Hydralisk army, but losing a pylon, a probe, and a High Templar. The Zealots streaming across to try to defend it. Looks like they're eating... Bon Bon's Sidestorms have not been spectacular. He's ended up Sidestorming his own troops quite often. Hydralisk being pressed in. It looks like finally, yeah, Bon Bon regathering his attack force. But he's just going to allow those troops to stand. The pylon's still going to hold in the background. More Hydralisk pressing forward. Keep in mind, still no Overlord support. And Bonbon bon needs to be... Loses his High Templar. Which means once this Lurker morphs, it can go ahead and plop down Deny a lot. Because Observatory... Still a ways away. 
Bon Bon dashing forward. More Lurkers planning. Gonna get some free damage. And Bon Bon turning around, re-engaging, however, under Lurker fire. And again, Psystorming a lot of his own Zealots. So right now, it's gonna be up to Psystorm to deal with Lurkers. Bon Bon finding a couple Lurkers unburrowed. Wandering out in the field, Jojo pressing towards that natural, now has Overlord speed. The robotics facility just about to come online, but this is locking Bonbon bon to two bases, which should be amazing for Jojo. Go ahead and grab some territory. Maybe even go for a contain here. Just reposition those lurkers towards that natural expansion. It looks like he is opting to do so now. This is going to be difficult for Bonbon bon to defend. He does have an Archon behind all this. Looks like some troops managed to sneak through and actually might... Well... I don't think that'll be sufficient to go ahead and damage that 5 o'clock. Corsair finally getting wiped out. Forge taking some free damage here. Which might be able to take out that Forge before armor finishes. It's one of those things eyeballing it. I can't really draw the time. Two additional gateways plopping down for Bon Bon. Going for a shuttle before an observer. Looks like he was going to go ahead and test that 5 o'clock base, but... Backing out with those units, probably going to end up getting them trapped mid-map, yeah. Bonbon bon trying to draw what he can back, now just realizing they're expended troops, so just go ahead and attack. 3 o'clock base coming online. The Zealots at least are going to be able to confirm that. Yes, able to at least confirm that there's an additional hatchery being built at 3 o'clock. And Jojo actually... When opting to go macro, showing some, showing some good macro chops here. Overlords moving forward, and we have Ventral Sacks upgrading, so potentially wanting to go for a uh, Hydralis Drop, which I don't feel like is necessary. I feel like Lurkers, a good Lurker field towards the front, and Hydralis to support would be sufficient, especially considering how late the Observers are coming out. So first Observer coming out there. We do have a shuttle that snuck out with two High Templar, but look at all the blue moving up on the map. Yeah, Jojo moving forward. Forge down, plus one armor did finish. Hydros punching in a little bit too far forward, but getting some free troop kills here. Shuttle should, might have been spotted, but Jojo potentially distracted here with his attack at the main. Or kind of poke at the main. Not a lot of lurkers down yet. Good side storm on the Hydros now. Now some good side storms for Bon Bon. Jojo just shredding a lot of Hydralis. Lurker is popping, but not yet burrowed. Now burrowing. The Observer looks like it's well protected, and no Overlord here to go ahead and deal with this. Jojo expanding twice to the 3 o'clock and bottom left-hand corner, and the shuttle waiting in the wings. So Bonbon bon breaking out. As Jojo's double expanding, and potentially going to get a devastating drop Going to load up some Dark Templar as well. It looks like the Hydralis might have spotted it. Not sure it matters, though, because Bon Bon has a sizable attack force moving out. Shuttle going right past, getting a great size storm. Wiping out nearly every drone. Dark Templar now in the main. More size storm. And all of a sudden, that fantastic micro, or sorry, macro from Jojo getting obliterated. Zealot wiped out. Dark Templar just going to try to hide. This bottom left-hand corner to attack yet another day. So all of a sudden, where Bon Bon looked like he was in a bad position, right back in this match, going to walk up, clear out what might be his third. He does need to slow Jojo's economy down. Let's see if Jojo gets that up and running. Because he's got... Four bases working for him right this second, if he can get them saturated. Looks like he wants to go for some Lurker drops. Unfortunately, he's going to Lurker drop into an empty mineral field. Looks like he's going to drop short to deal with the gateways. Observers, are they are in position to go ahead and scout this. The Dragoon should be able to clear that out with out too much trouble, grabbing his third base as well.
And now Bon Bon way ahead in the supply count. Loses a High Templar there. But the Lurker Drop not really... I mean, it was able to damage some gateways, take out a High Templar, but really not get a lot else accomplished. Jojo resaturating to 56 drones rapidly. And pretty good saturation across these bases. So his main's resaturated, his third base resaturated, but needs to get attack troops out in a hurry. Because Bon Bon is now rolling across the map with a strong attack force. Lurkers on the defense, but it does not look like it is going to be sufficient for this size of an attack force, taking out the initial Dragoon, Zerglings being produced. So three o'clock base completely breached. A Zealot looks like it's gonna wander to bottom left to disrupt there. And Jojo needs to just start producing anything immediately to stop Bonbon bon from just rolling him over like a semi-truck. Dragoon's regrouping. Dark Templar attacking the main. He's got four kills and is emptying the base otherwise. A Dark Templar... There, sorry, there's an Overlord to scout it, but not able to get a lot else otherwise. Zergling's coming in single file. Looks like it's going to be able to sneak back to the darkness, come back. Yeah, one at a time can take out a lot of Zerglings, but finally getting surrounded and wiped out. Looks like it is mostly Zerglings to defend, and actually we should, they'll do pretty well against the Dragoon-only composition if they stand and fight. Looks like they're going to group up to try to defend that th third base. Bonbon, in the meantime, going ahead and grabbing his fourth base. Zerglings are streaming on location. And it is mostly Dragoons and High Templar to try to defend. A bunch of cannons morphing. Are they going to be in time? Coming from the left. Psystorm taking out a High Templar. It looks like they want to go ahead and dive into the natural. So able to take out some Dragoons here. Psystorm's catching a good amount of them, leaving many of them weak. And there's already a huge amount of cannons to deal with the Zerglings at that third base. So Jojo, honestly, tossing some troops to the wolves here. Another drop is lined up. Not sure if that managed to get a lot of kills here at the natural knot. I assume it did, because looks like this is thin. Shuttle moving back out and around. Looks like that Zealot got taken out here in the bottom left. Or never mind, he just is never got there. Troops regathering, looking for a position to attack. There are a decent amount of lurkers here now. The observer not in position. Towards the rear of the army. Allowing a lot of free fire. Finally, the dragoons, they're able to punch through. Level two weapons, by the way, on these lurkers. Zerglings running into the side storm fire, so they're getting wiped out. Shuttle repositioning now over the third, able to get a side storm drop on both the lurkers and the drones, obliterating everything there. Huge supply lead right now for Bonbon, bon, now pressing right into that natural expansion. This is a huge amount of Dragoons. The Zerglings are coming in in small numbers, so not able to get there. So at least that hatch are going to get wiped out. And if the Observers peek a little bit forward, they should be able to take out these Lurkers fairly easily. Bon Bon's mains mind out. He is running two base versus five, though, so he does need to end the game sooner rather than later before JoJo is able to kick some of the macro up and get an attack force to deal with these Dragoons. Observer is under fire. Both of them are taken out, which means these Lurkers are going to be able to defend this natural expansion. However, more Storm Drops at the third. Three something colonies at the main to defend that. And despite the Lurker fire, Bon Bon pressing into the natural, able to get some Psy Storm and kill some troops there. Wholesale 
attacking as the lurkers continue to decimate this attack force. Finally backing out with the rest of his army. And he's going to go ahead and try to take this 3 o'clock base. Zerglings streaming out for a potential counterattack. Still a sizable supply lead for Bon Bon. Two bases well saturated. Shuttle managed to completely clear the 3 o'clock base over, or sorry, the 5 o'clock base over and over and over again. But right now, if JoJo can just macro, get some macro hatches, it looks like he's got hive tech. Dropping down the Ultralis Cavern. He just needs to get some troops out. He's got five bases to work with. Drop, bottom left. Catches more drones. 14 and 11 kills and 11 kills. Now 12. These High Templar have been doing some work. Nearly over 30 worker kills between them. A slew of creep colonies being dropped. To provide a defensive wall at that natural expansion. Bon Bon does have that 3 o'clock base coming online, but does not have probes at location to saturate as of yet. Moving in with an attack force for something colonies bottom left. Shuttle moving back across. Zerglings able to take out some cannons, but not much else at the 3 o'clock location. It's like two of them, they are adre adrenal upgraded, but a drop. These hero High Templar are just an attack. They are dedicated. They've, they've studied the way of killing the drone. Just kind of sat there and focused and meditated on it. And they are just obliterating drones all over the map. Living their greatest life. Zealots creating in with the Dragoons. The upgrades have been... A little bit lacking here from Bonbon. Bon. He has not stayed on top of it. But it looks like he is going to be able to clear out the Sunken Colony's bottom left. Well, maybe. Single Dragoon and single Zealot, but this might open up some Psy Storm to go ahead and clear out the drone lines mining here. This is going to be close. So Psy Storm dropping, Zergling spawning. That's going to expose the High Templar, but not before the High Templar. Man, Bonbon's High Templar really like killing drones. They love it. Ultral is taking the map now, though, for JoJo. If he can get resaturated and defend these bases, he might have the economy to make that work. However, his natural expansion is mined out. His main is looking somewhat light. Zerglings and Ultralists pushing out to potentially take out that 3 o'clock. Bon Bon looks like he's going to counterattack, take out bottom left. Probes transferring as Ultralists are watching to that 3 o'clock. Another High Templar drop. More Psy Storm. Gonna get taken out. Plus one weapons, no Carapace upgrade. So actually the upgrade differential is not gonna matter. Bottom left hand base completely cleared out by Bon Bon. Still has the supply lead. Has continually kept that 9 o'clock base from, from running. So right now, Jojo... Down to 29 workers. And the Dragoon's starting to flood forward. Now Bon Bon getting right back on top of the weapons upgrade. Level 2 weapons, level 2 armor. Which means these Dragoons are going to hit pretty hard. More drops. 17 kills on the remaining High Templar. The Dragoons and Ultralisks mixing up. Dragoons winning that fight. And the rest of that attack force cleaned up. And now Jojo, going to call GG, as was not able to keep up in the macro fight in the late game. So, with that, Bonbon bon going to advance with Advil out of Group D. And in very rapid fashion, we are in the round of eight. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.